Welcome back. Today, I got a plan of doing some campfire jambalaya. Some music going. We're camping. Everybody wants their hot dogs and hamburgers. Kind of manufactured a little stove right here. My favorite part about camping is cooking like this. I'm gonna get this huge cast iron roaring hot and we're gonna start to make some jambalaya. Simple as that, really. So uh, it's gonna be pretty easy. I did most of the prep at home. Um, so not too much speed cutting in this video, but there'll be some, there'll be some. Stick around. It's gonna be a nice spicy jambalaya, I'm thinking. <laughs> Got some bacon, we're gonna do some sauce and dewy sausage in there as well. Uh, you know, the holy trinity. Celery, onion, bell pepper garlic made a nice little spice blend i'll put the uh recipe in the description like always um like i said a little different no actual prep beforehand didn't really mean no prep when i said no prep we gotta cut some bacon and some sausage for this bad boy do the bacon first since that's going on first we got the fire going behind us here some music going we're camping thick cut bacon for this it's gonna be the best way i'm gonna cut this and uh very large chunks, like an inch and a half, right down, just like that. Perfect. Looks like good, nice, it's like pork belly actually, that's kind of what I'm going for. Break it all up while it's in the bowl so you can, I'm going to toss these in seasonings so that will be like a blackened bacon that's kind of going in here with the Cajun seasoning I made, so. Next up, andouille sausage. Gotta have some andouille for a nice jambalaya. So I'm gonna do that here. And then when I cook, I'll tell you kind of what I did as far as prep goes. Oh, but I'm gonna cut these up. Get you a little fast animation on this puppy. All right, nice thin medallions for this. So they caramelize really nice. You wanna cut them on a bias. So a little surface area. that go for a second. I want to put some little twinkle stuff in there to kind of build a little kindling mess. It should catch. It should get this thing roaring hot in here and then we'll have a little grill to work with. Coals are going over my fire here. I'm going to put the cast iron down and get this thing heated up. Snuck one. It's hot, hot, hot. It's time to cook. Watch out. This is scorching hot. And we're gonna do a little test of how hot it is. It's really hot outside. That's so how you know it's ready. The water sizzles. Oh yeah. It might be too hot. Cool it off a little with some water. So it'll just steam off, it'll cool down the plate so you don't just char the bacon as soon as you drop it on there. Why don't we uh, make some jambalaya? Does that sound good? So I'm gonna take this nice seasoned bacon that we did here. I'm gonna put it right here in this cast iron. All right, we're gonna let this bacon render and uh, we're gonna start eating food here soon. What's that on the bottom? That's the pond on the bottom. So all that is what happens when you saute anything really in a cast iron or anything, um, any pan, any stainless steel, whatever. Uh, it's just the stuff that sticks from the meat, the veggies at the bottom of your pan. You might think it's burnt. I know that's flavor. So it's gonna, you're going to see what's going to happen with that in a little bit here. It's not going to be too hard to uh, 
take care of, but we're gonna dig these. This is a little bit of chicken stock. We got some veggies coming in here too. It's gonna be really, 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 really good. It already smells incredible. It looks incredible. I mean, look at those pieces. Get in there. Look at that piece. Oh yeah. Oh, that's gorgeous. Right, this is coming out here in a minute, and then we're gonna throw in the sausage. We're gonna be flying. All right, that quick. Literally a minute and a half, two minutes, not even. Oh, I'll put the caramelization on these. It's gonna be so, so good. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. All right, here we That's go. Really good. Oh my god. Yeah. These are gonna be good. Alright. So now what I'm gonna do after these are done here, since they are done, I'm gonna settle inside. And I'm gonna take the pan off the heat really quick and I'm gonna adjust the flame underneath the fire because I don't want this crap raging hot while I put the veggies in carefully and take this pan off because I need all that oil in there. That's what we're cooking with. See it'll be hot, 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 hot. That was my sweat. Watch your stuff, Peter. Alright, I'm gonna adjust this flame really quick and then we're gonna get the veggies in there, alright? Alright, adjust the coals a bit. Get these veggies in there. You can just take always write down your recipes. Well, I gotta mince some garlic, so uh give me a sec. Silly, I forgot. I forgot to mince garlic earlier, so we're gonna do that really quick. Smash, smash, smash. garlic. Let's go back and put those veggies in. My grill is holding up. So all the, the veggies are picking up all that fond on the bottom of the pan which is going to build this flavor layer by layer in this dish here. Oh, it looks so good. more minutes here we're gonna get the garlic in there some extra spice some stock it's gonna come along really nice here so this is good to go here what we're gonna do next is we're gonna drop in that garlic we're gonna kind of rapid fire this really quick here about six cloves that I missed up a minute ago mm -hmm. right in there mm -hmm. garlic super super quick with garlic give it just a really quick stir let it cook but don't let it burn so I got One teaspoon here. And another. Don't worry about it. this is all going in there, but we're building flavor, guys. Remember that. Oh, it smells so good. Oh my god. This is gonna be, <laughs> is gonna be ridiculous. On a freaking campfire. Alright. Go, let's cook it. Oh, you can just smell that standing up here. I mean, my smell's not that good. What makes with everything else out here? That's really permeating through everything for me. That smells fantastic. I got two bay leaves in there. I'm going about one and a half teaspoons of dry thyme. One. And a half. I got three cups of parboiled rice in here. Parboiled, three cups of rice. Threw it in there, boiled it for 15 minutes. Don't do the actual rice. Pretty much do the first half of the instructions where it tells you to boil it and then turn it to a simmer. About 10 minutes boiling, super easy, and this thing is gonna just cook up and soak up all this flavor. Oh yeah. So, two tablespoons of tomato paste. Probably two, right? Yeah, a little more. There you go. Yeah, yeah why not? Go. We're camping. Yeah, we're, we're camping. Then we got two tablespoons of Worcestershire. Well, that's about two, right? And what we're going to do is just stir this up. Oh, listen to that. Oh, man, this is going to be so good. This is so easy, too. If you just do the beginning prep at home, you just throw all this in there. Oh, my gosh. And how long did it take us to prep at home? Like 10 minutes. Home? Yeah. 15 minutes. 
What's the next step on you, Mike? So, <laughs> so next, <laughs> we're gonna throw the sausage back in here. And the stock. And we're gonna get this thing up to a boil. And then we're gonna lit it. And we're gonna let the rice cook in there for about a half hour, 40 minutes. Oh, no. And you're gonna do we. Right. And do we going in? Just some extra oil in here too, so it's gonna help it. Flavor, 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 flavor. That's so good. Oh yeah. Look at that. Woo! That's incredible. And we're camping. We are camping. Um, so traditionally in jambalaya, you don't really add any alcohol to the glaze or anything like that. This calls for six cups of chicken stock. I think we're gonna need a little bit more liquid. So I'm gonna add in a little, about a cup of beer too, just to kind of cook it down. And it's gonna, I think it's really gonna add a different layer of flavor to this. What kind of beer are you gonna put in there on Probably your Probably Modelo, a nice cerveza, or just any kind of like light, light beer. You don't want to take too much from the flavor. You don't want to use a heavy IPA or anything like that. That's the seasoning. Woo! Oh yeah. Recipe for that'll be in the description. Maybe I'll just do a little quick video on that. Some, maybe a reel, I don't know. Let us know in the comments if you want to see a video of that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. And that rice is gonna soak that up. I'll let that cook for a sec. Extra liquid. About a cup, cup and a half. Freaking good. That looks so good too. That looks cow. amazing. I could eat it right now. Yeah, I really want to eat it right now. <laughs> but it's gonna cook. That rice is kinda hard. We need that bacon. And here comes the chicken stock. Look at that. All the oils is coming up, all the sausage is floating in there. The sausage is gonna cook so nicely in here while it boils. All right, so basically at this point, I'm gonna let this come up to a boil and then I'm gonna just lit it. It's probably just gonna simmer a little bit when it's to heat a bit to make sure it stays like that. I'm gonna lit it. I got a big like pizza tray, 17 inches fits the skillet. I'm gonna put some foil around it, make sure there's no air that comes out. The rice is gonna cook, the rice is gonna absorb everything. I'm gonna taste test it. And we're gonna throw the bacon back in there. We got a couple other things we gotta toss in this thing, but for the next 40 minutes, we're hanging out. All right, I think this is it, guys. It's been about a half hour, I want to say. Oh <laughs> my goodness! Holy crap! This is godly. Look at this. I'm gonna do a little quick taste test here. So hot. Scorching hot. Fried the crap out of my tongue. It's okay. The rice needs a few more minutes still. This is unbelievably good. That cayenne is a perfect back of tongue spice right now on top of everything else. All the peppers, all the onions are in this. This is might be one of the best things I've ever made. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift this back up. I'm gonna leave the foil off so it can kind of reduce even more and get that, that rice really, really cooked. And once that rice is done, I'm gonna throw the scallions in there. We're gonna let it go for another like 10 more minutes or something like that. And we're gonna throw the bacon back in there too. And we're gonna eat this because this is absolutely incredible. Look at that. So we both just tried this. The rice definitely needs a few more minutes, I think. So I'm gonna cover it back up. But how, how good was this? Like the best thing ever. <laughs> the spice is so perfect in here. I'm glad I scaled back the cayenne from uh, what I was originally thinking of using. <clears throat> but holy cow, this is so good. All right, lid back on for about 10 more minutes. I'm gonna stir some scallions in, put the bacon back in. Oh yeah, we're there. <laughs> holy cow. Guys, just, can you just look directly into that please? And see what I did on this homemade campfire stove right here. Holy crap. It's gonna look even better with that bacon. This is unbelievable. I'm not even gonna taste it yet. Alright, so next, finally, finally, here we go. Bacon! Oh, you remember that guy? I do. I do. Yeah, I am. Two. Mm. We're gonna stir this in. 
lit it up for about five more minutes. We're gonna put this onto a plate. Let's take a look here. Oh, look what I did. on here and nice big little plate because I've been working about four hours on this bad boy. Here we top of the fresh skin. I can't believe I moved this hog. You can't fire. Holy shit. What a day. Really, what a day. Got out here, immediately went to the fire, immediately went to work. Got it done. Made a campfire cast iron jambalaya. Absolutely incredible. All the details, the instructions, all the recipes, everything like that will be in the description for you. And uh, stay tuned. There's going to be a ton more videos for this. Other than that, I'll see you tomorrow. All right.